Hello everyone, and today I'll be talking about famous people. I am doing, I'm presenting a slide about someone called Bill Gates. Bill Gates. He is also known as William Henry Gates III. What he has done. Bill Gates, also known as William Henry Gates III, is an American business magnate, software developer, investor, author, and philanthropist. He is also the co-founder of Microsoft. A business magnate is someone who has achieved success and enormous wealth through business and industry. Information. Bill Gates was born on October 28, 1955 in Seattle, Washington, US. American computer programmer entrepreneur who co-founded Microsoft Corporation, the world's largest personal computer software company. Microsoft was founded April 4, 1975. Thank you. As I say, it's really short. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Well done. Good morning, teachers and my fellow friends. Today, I'm going to present of Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was 16th president in the United States. Earlier, Abraham Lincoln was born at February 12, 1890. 1909 was born in Harding County, KY. Abraham Lincoln is not an easy growing child. By 16, by 16, by 1816, his father has lost everything at his job, so they have to move to Indiana. They became dirt poor in a long cabin in Kentucky. His father has become, has become a farmer and a carpenter. His mother is a housewife now. When, when Abraham Lincoln was 9 years old, his mother died, so she leaving his father to raise Abraham Lincoln and his sister. One day, his father had remarried a woman to raise them also. When Abraham Abraham, when Abraham grew older, he worked a lot of different jobs and eventually he got into politics where he was a part of the Illinois legislature where he had to study the law to become a lawyer. One day, he, run, he ran for president. He had won against Stephen Douglas in 1860 and he has started serving in 1861. He's the sixth president in the United States. Once, pre once Abraham gets selected, the southern states have decided they didn't want to be a part of the country anymore, and they started a civil war. The reason they left was because they wanted to keep African Americans slaves. They did not agree with some of the with some of the Abraham Lincoln's doing. Abraham Lincoln called 75,000 troops to fight the Thornton Rebellion. The Civil War went on fighting for four years. Two years, two years in the war, Abraham Lincoln had signed something that is called Emancipation Proclam Proclam Pro Proclamation, which was an uh, order that declared all of the states in the United States are free. In, a, in, in April 9, 1865, the war has ended. Gen General o Robert E. Lee has surrendered. Abraham Lincoln has won the Civil War. On, on April 15, 1865, after the war ended, Abraham Lincoln died by an assassination. He has been shot up by John Wakeley's booth in the Ford Theater. But he will be well known by changing, by changing the United States. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Kim Hang, that was really good. A lot not of information. Not gonna lie, Kim Hang, what you said was actually true. 
It was really good. Can hang well done. Very sick. Hello, today. Name's Isaac Yap. Today I will present you about Mary Seiko. This is Mary Seiko. Who was she and what difference did she make? In the early years, Mary Saint Jane Seiko was born in 23 November 1805 century, 5 century, 14 May 1881. Was a British Jamaican nurse, killer, and businesswoman. Set up the British hotels behind the lines during the Crimean War. Mary Seiko was born in Jane Kingston in the colony of Jamaica, the daughter of James Grant, a Scottish lieutenant in the British Army and a free Jamaican woman. Her, her mother, Miss Grant, nicknamed the Doctress, was a healer who used traditional Caribbean and art, African medicines, herbal Af- medicines. Miss Grant also ran the Lander Hall, a boarding house at 7 East Street. It was considered one of the best hotels in all kin- of Kingston. Mary grew up watching her mother, a doctor in Jamaican tradition. She wanted to be like a mother, treating her long suffering dog, but the wife called her to, to her too, and that leads, leads to her expedition to London. When she first arrived in London, when Mary Seagull first arrived in London, she was a tourist. Then, she soon to return with a cargo of food to trade and be a successful businesswoman. Upon returning, she took a place to rent the blunder hall alongside with her aging mother. She faced racism but still did not give up. She married a white man named Edwin Seagull. When she met her, when she heard hears about the Crimean War and the recruiting nurses, Mary knew where she had to be. She went to the military headquarters to sign up as a nurse and insisted she speak with the Secretary of War. He he didn't really accept Mary, so she went to a department to another. Until she finally got an ear of a surprised but patient officer who suggests she apply to Florence nurse, but the nurse didn't accept her. She thought, was it the color of her skin color? People suggested she bleach her skin, but she considered, but she considered herself special. So if the nurse wouldn't accept her, she would go there by herself. When she met her cousin par- partner, her cousin told her he was going to cry me out. So she asked him that she would go to with him. At once they when they reached Crimea, they got to work building. Since resources were hard to come by, they found wood and metal thrown off sheep to build the hotel. The British soldiers had no reason to fight, so they went to marry British Hotel. When she heard they were sick, she rushed to the, to their camp and took care of the British soldier. When they pushed the Russian back into their lands, the Ottomans, British and French was victorious Com- accomplishments. Mary lived in a small apartment one day. She read about the news talking about her and started a fundraiser. Mar- Mary smiled and lived happily until she died. After her death, she was largely forgotten of for almost a century, but was subsequently recognized for her success as a woman. Her autobiography, Wonderful Adventures of the Seiko in the Many Lands, 1857, is one of the earliest autobiographies of the mixed race woman. Although some aspects of its accuracy have been questioned by present day supporters of Florence Nightingale. The end. Thank you, Isaac. That was really good.